Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. What the mainstream media is hiding from you this week. The funny part of this is liberals must be so insecure about their own principles that they actually don't trust people to hear the truth. So while the mainstream media obsessed about a sketchy report that claimed Trump called the White House a dump, this is what really happened. Republicans in Congress called for a special counsel to be appointed to investigate Hillary Clinton and her private email server. You know, the one where she sent and received classified information and directed the pay-to-play schemes where she sold favors to people who paid her while she was Secretary of State. There could not have been more headlines when Democrats called for a special counsel to investigate Trump in Russia. But when the call came for an independent investigation into Hillary, because she's a Democrat, the mainstream media ignored it. In Michigan, a radical left-wing group attached to Antifa protested a Catholic men's conference. The protesters claimed because it was for men only about being a good father and a good husband, that meant it was anti-woman. Yet these protesters don't feel the need to picket women's only events as being anti-man. And the mainstream media didn't seem to notice that hypocrisy. Sheryl Sandberg, COO of Facebook, renewed her call for government to mandate equal pay for women. Her face and her righteous rejection of sexism were plastered everywhere. But I guess the mainstream media forgot that we already have that law and that facts debunk the idea that women are paid less because of our gender. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling propagated a malicious lie on her Twitter account where she claimed President Trump ignored a disabled boy in a wheelchair. Now, video evidence showed that claim to be false. Trump talked first and longest with the young boy, but Ms. Rowling refused to delete the tweets for three days after they were disproved, and she still hasn't apologized to the president for such a spiteful and false accusation. Funny how the mainstream media failed to report that part. Two Democratic mayors in Pennsylvania charged with pay-to-play schemes, the epitome of government corruption, but because the elected officials have a D after their names, the mainstream media doesn't seem to care. Ten more people killed in Venezuela after President Maduro tried to abolish the Constitution and put his buddies and his wife in the assembly instead of letting the people decide whom to elect. What's happening in Venezuela? That's not failed socialism. That is socialism. But the mainstream media ignores that. Last but not least, Planned Parenthood employees admit on a new undercover video that they skirt the law in order to perform otherwise illegal late-term abortions. They don't want to inject the unborn babies with poison to kill them before they remove the children from the womb because that would contaminate the body parts they want to harvest. So instead, they note in a checkbox on the form that they intend to dismember the babies. So that way, if the babies are born alive or born halfway, since the abortionist intended to dismember the child, it's not technically a violation of the partial birth abortion ban. Plus, then Planned Parenthood can harvest the organs of the baby more easily. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you. So we will. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. I'll see you back here in a couple weeks. And until then, have a good night.